Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this REST Assured API testing tutorial, I am going to discuss about how to upload file in REST Assured. So let's go to the Postman tool. We will discuss the manual scenario first and uh, then we'll start automating the manual scenario. So here we are using the post as a HTTP method and we are specifying the endpoint as uh, postman-echo.com followed by the post. So we are using this endpoint and we are using the post as a HTTP method and followed by inside the body, we are passing the file. So here I'm selecting the one of the file from the my local system and after that I'm clicking on send button. So here we are getting the API response status code as 200 and also we are getting the API response body. So we will create the post API request and where we will where we will add the file location and uh, we will validate the 200 as a status code in the Eclipse IDE using REST Assured library. So now I will go to the Eclipse. So I will start creating the one Java class and inside that we will create the one test ng test and under that we will be creating the post API request using the REST Assured and where we are specifying the file location and also we, we are going to validate the 200 as a status code. Inside the com.testautomation.apitesting.tests inside this I am creating the one simple class. So here I am providing the class name as file upload and I will click on finish. So we got the class. So here I am creating the one test ng test. So at the rest, sorry. Sorry guys, yeah. at the rate test followed by public wide. Here I'm specifying the method name as upload file. So that's it. Let's import the at the rate test from the test ng framework. So that's it guys. Now let's start creating the rest assured API post request. So here I'm using the rest assured followed by here I'm saying dot and given. So inside the given, I'm calling to the one method called multi-part. So this multi-part is a overloaded method where we can pass the multiple parameters. If you look at here, we can pass the control name followed by the file and control name followed by the object, control name followed by the string. So there are other, method, other methods also where we can pass the different type of arguments. So in our case, we are uploading the file so here I'm selecting the very first method where we are passing the file as the object. So simply I'll select this first method and here I'm passing the file location. That means here I'm creating the object of file and inside this we are passing the location of the file. So in our case, what I'm doing is simply I will go inside the SRC test resources folder. You can upload any type of file. So we will try to upload the json file and as well as the text file from your side you can try to upload a csv file or excel file or also you can try to upload the even image as well so as of now i will try to upload the json file i'll go to the properties and i will get the location of this particular file location sorry guys so here i'm getting the location of this test data json file and I will come inside the class and I'll paste it here. So that's it. So after adding the file location, so we need to specify the, so let's import the file from the java.io. Then here I'm calling to the method called base URI. So here I'm adding the endpoint URL. That's the endpoint. So simply I'll copy this endpoint from the postman and I'll paste it here. That's it. And after that, simply I am specifying the when and followed by that, I'm specifying the post because we want to create the post API request. And followed by, I'm specifying the then. So inside the then, I am validating the status code over here. So here I'm saying uh, assert that and after that, I'll say dot status code. So inside this one, we have to specify the 
expected status code after making the post API request by using the all these details. So that's it guys. So now we are uploading the JSON file and next time we will try to upload the text file as well. So this is how you can create the post API request and also you can upload the file using the rest assured. Let's execute this API test. So if you look at the output, so total test run is one and that is getting passed, right? So now this time I will pass the one of the text file. So I will copy the text file location and we are able to upload the file. That's a JSON file. And now this time we are uploading the text file. So simply I will replace this file location with the text file location. So if you look at here in the ending, so it is a text file, right? So let's run this API test now. We are able to upload the JSON file for the first time. And the second time we are trying to upload the text file. I will run this API test. So execution is started. And if you look at the console output, total test run is one and that is getting passed over here, right? So let's try to pass some invalid uh, file. That's a file location. Simply I will delete this uh, to backward slash. That means this particular file location is not exist in my system. So in this case, what it does is simply it will throw the file not found exception. I will run once again this API test. And if you look at here in the console output, so our test got failed. And uh, let's look at the reason. And if you see here, file not found exception, right? So this is how you can upload the file in rest assured API testing. You can try to upload the image file and also you can try to upload the Excel file or CSV file. And if you face any difficulties in doing that, you can uh, comment in the comment section of this below video. This is Bakapa. Welcome to API testing full course. You can access all the exercise which we have done in the whole API testing course. I have already provided this uh, link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the envir environment variable details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser. And after that, so once it is opened, so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system. So it will open like this after ex accessing the link. So this is a public access URL which which I have shared it. You can <clears throat> click on this booking API. You can see all the APIs are there inside the two folders. 
So what you can do is you can click on this three dots and you can export it. So you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking API collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking API environment and after that click on this icon and click on edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export so this will export the environment variable details so after exporting it so you will get the these two files and once once you have the, these two files you can go to the postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab and you can click on choose files and you can select the first league collection that's the postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import so firstly you can load the postman collection and after that you can load the environment details so as i have already these apis in my system i don't want to import it and this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the api testing full course you can find all the code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course you can search with the backup and github in the google.com and here you can go to the my github repository and over here in the repositories tab you will find the rest assured api testing framework you can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this uri and by using this uri and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the url so you will get the whole code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course